Hi, I'm Sean Gilligan. I'm the Vice President of Engineering at Rivets. Um, I'm not used to presenting about the company. I'm mo mostly busy trying to build the technology, and what we're, what I, one of the reasons I'm here is we're hiring. I'll get more to that at the end. Um, so we are creating provable cybersecurity with blockchain and trusted computing. Now everybody here, well it seems like people here know what blockchain is, and I saw everybody raise their hands. Um, trusted computing is where we use hardware technology built into Android phones. It's also available on Intel platforms, which we're beginning to work on. And we, we use that security to, to store your private keys on your Bitcoin or your someday, maybe soon your DAI, your Ether. Um, so we're creating decentralized cybersecurity. So, oh, my slide got messed up when it went over to Google. <laughs> All right, so the blockchain has some really nice things going for it. it. It's trustless in the sense that you don't have to trust a third party to exchange between the two primary parties. It's censorship proof, and it produces an immutable ledger of your transactions. But what you don't know is, was the transaction intended? This means someone may have stolen your private key and spent your coins. You'll be sitting there one day and you'll, whoop, where'd my money go? And this has happened quite a bit. The technology that we have is to help eliminate that and also to provide additional controls as to what the state of the device was, what the location it was in, things like that at the time the transaction was created. So normally when you write to the blockchain, you sign an instruction saying pay, pay so many Bitcoin from party A to party B, and then you write a signed hash of that transaction into the blockchain. We add to that the ability to use additional rules and the trusted execution environment to provide a, a what's called an attestation hash, which shows that this transaction was actually signed by the, the hardware in your, in your smartphone. Now, some people here are probably familiar with Trezor and Ledger, the, the uh, hardware Bitcoin wallets that are, and, and Ethereum wallets that are available. The technology in many Android uh, smartphones allows you to have a virtual hardware wallet inside your phone. And so we use that and the, the secure supply chain used in, in producing that to create this attestation hash that says this transaction was actually signed by the by the particular phone, not by a stolen key. We can also provide external cybersecurity controls or rules to make sure that certain things happened at the time of the transaction. The user entered their PIN code or a password or their, or their biometric, their fingerprint. We can verify that the device has not been tampered with at the time that it creates the instruction. We can, we can also look at things like its location. If, if, it's a, you know, if it's in Vegas and it's not supposed to be in Vegas, then maybe you don't want that transaction to go through. Um, we also uh, did an ICO and we have a token called the RVT and we're using that to pay for the cybersecurity controls that will be used on the device. So as different services come online, they can, they can check to make sure your phone was reported I mean, you can make sure it wasn't stolen, uh, to make sure it's in a particular location or to verify that the software hasn't been tampered with. Google provides a service. Microsoft provides uh, mobile device management solutions for enterprises. We can use our token to pay for those services and make sure those controls are used at the time of various transactions. So this, this graph just shows that the, the value of the data that's put onto the ledger increases with the quality of the protection of the instruction and the controls that are used in the transaction. What is trusted execution? It's a technology that some people at our company pioneered about 20 years ago and put onto every, you know, every Dell motherboard and it's been used by, and it's been built into Intel chips and now into chips from, uh, from ARM. And it, it creates an isolated environment within the phone where you can do your most trusted operations, like signing a Bitcoin transaction 
or just providing your authorization as you log on to a server and just say this this is really is the same person this is their private key and and they're there are a lot yeah, how many people have used uh, Google Authenticator or some kind of some kind of external token so there's there's standards for that uh, something called UAF there's there's these kind of stand we have an authenticator product so we can also provide authentication to any to any website it doesn't have to be strictly uh, blockchain related so by using the secure hardware environment to store that information we provide a level of trust that protects against malware and things on the phone that, that, um, that can be used to subvert the normal process. Yeah, some of the fonts got messed up here in the, in the conversion. <coughs> so some, uh, some of the Samsung phones that we work with actually provide a secure display. We call it the trusted user interface. And that actually protects your phone. Mm -hmm. It's like, like Snapchat, right? You can actually really get the picture but if you put a picture in the trusted user interface, the only way you can get it is by taking a picture with an external camera. Not only that, but when you enter your pin, when you enter your pin or, or any keyboard input, that also is protected from any malware that might be on your phone. Uh, we provide storage, a secure pin, we provide file encryption and decryption, and also, also secure access to, to biometric, um, things like fingerprint sensors and things like that. Applications, uh, mobile wallets for Bitcoin, ETH, maybe at some point in the future, DAI, um, chat applications, file storage, and cloud authentication. So what is a secure instruction? That might be something like sending a transaction to the blockchain, it might be logging into a server, or it might even just be a traditional e-commerce transaction that you want to confirm. So Oh, one minute, <laughs> I can do it. Uh, so the trusted display guarantees that what you're about to approve is actually that malware hasn't given you a fake screen that you're approving. It shows you that what you see is what you signed. Trusted input, we proved that you directly typed in that code and the malware wasn't involved. We predict the private key and the creation of the, of the instruction. And then attestation ver verification says that the device, the device hasn't been tampered with and really is using real hardware controls. I'm gonna skip this slide in the interest of time. And I can't skip. I have more slides. <laughs> Did I run out of battery? I'm gonna skip that one. So we, uh, we ran an ICO in, and that concluded in September and we raised $18 million uh, with the RBT cybersecurity token, which is gonna create a business model for us and our partners for providing these various services um, that, that will be used at the time of the formation of a transaction. So what we're trying to provide is when you, when you create an instruction or you tell the blockchain or a server that you're doing something that you have a known user on a known device and a known condition and a verified creation of that instruction that you send to the server or to the blockchain. Um, and if you're, uh, if you're a software engineer with experience in security, uh, back-end web, web networking developers, please visit uh, rivets.com jobs. Thank you very much.